Well, should you buy land and build a house in Sardinia or should you buy an already built house? This is one of the most frequent questions I get on the channel uh, with regards to investing in real estate here in beautiful Sardinia. So I'm gonna share my experience and what I've seen and talk to other people who invested in Sardinia, give you some of the pros and cons uh, with regards to both. So if you're ready, let's jump in. We are on a journey to find real estate deals in places of utmost beauty entry-priced luxury properties that are undervalued or deliver high short-term rental revenue, what we call Blue Vista properties. All right, so the reason we decided to buy land and build is one of the reasons that a lot of people decide to build versus buy is because you have that freedom within the rules to you know build and choose the materials, the layout, everything. I love interior design. Um, I read it a chalet in Switzerland. I made a video about it, a before after. Love the process of, of choosing the materials, transforming, you know, gutting out the kitchen, the bathrooms, make it so modern. So that's one of the reasons why you decided, you said, you know, but the key point, and I've done a bunch of videos on this was, could we find land at an affordable price? Because if the land price is expensive and then you add on the building costs, what you don't want to find yourself is with a property with the finished costs that are higher than the market value. Now, now, if you ever want to flip it or sell it, you basically will lose money. And I can tell you it's a tricky exercise. One of the disadvantages of um, building is it's very, very hard to be able to understand what the final cost is gonna be. And, oh my gosh, we met with builders and I kept telling them what I want is an estimate. I want an estimate of cost per square meter to have the complete project. And you know, the, the, the example I gave is said, you know, and they wanna say, oh, depend, depend, it all depends on what materials you choose. And I said, you know what? Um, my feedback was just pretend it's a car, pretend it's a Volkswagen. Good material, but not crazy priced. I don't need luxury, you know, I don't need tiles on the floor that are 80 euros a square meter. Like find me something 30 or 35, you know. Uh, that, that was kind of, you know, let, let's look at a, I want elegant, I want beautiful. It's what I did with the project, my chalet, but I, I was very careful on the cost of material. But one of the downsides, you buy a property that's built, well, you have a price. Now you can estimate repairs, upgrades, much, much easier to do than if you're just buying and building. And it's so funny because I have a, a friend, uh, uh, you know, used to be uh, through work, a friend of mine bought a property to build, uh, brought some land in Corsica. And uh, well, I just saw him the other night, we were in London, met him for dinner and said, hey, how's your project? He's like, ah, we're nearly done. And it took him 10 years, tons of unforeseen stuff happened and three times the budget and you know what and if you've seen my other videos on our experience in sardinia now we were not lucky because i mean luck whatever it's life right covid happened so everything stopped and then um the builder's son got sick the builder got sick went to the hospital operation so our project got put on hold multiple times and um but same thing the costs are coming in so far at about double what we had originally planned. And that makes it suddenly very tight from if we compare it, the final cost of the house and if we were to sell it, would we cover it? So that's a big risk you're taking. And uh, so just that's a key one to have in your mind. If you are going to uh, buy something that exists, well, you know how much you're paying for. You can calculate, you know, with all the fees and all the rest. So um, another one to consider, um, which is very important, is rules and regulations. And it's so funny because it is Italy and there's a lot of, in Sardinia. And I love it. There's a lot of rules. That's why you don't have, you know, crazy. Most of the houses you see, you won't find this architect, all glass windows, which is amazing. But, you it, you know, the rules will say, no, you can't. Maximum size of window, etc. Uh, it seems like it's quite straightforward, but when you're building, whew, it can be like one person tells you one thing, then you investigate it, and then something else. But if the builder's connected to the government, they can, you know, if they have some connections, maybe they'll be able to get some, the, some changes to the plans made. And it's a bit what we did, but you know, it wasn't because it was connected, but he, you know, he knew the rules very well. He said, we can do this, you can't do that. So there's a complexity of building uh, when um, 
that is linked to the rules and regulations of Sardinia. So that's something, a house is built, it's built. If it has the right paperwork, you can do changes inside. Now, if you wanna make changes to the facade, you wanna open up windows, do bigger, you're gonna need permits just like anything else and there will be rules and regulations. So that's something critical to consider. The other reason you have to consider is the quality of the work. Uh, you don't know uh, how the work is gonna be until it's built. So you might get great references from some builders and they seem great and then they, they build it and you have all sorts of issues. Versus if you go in a property and you have, you know, I don't know, some, some you know, engineers come in, do an assessment, uh, look at it and say, hey, you know, this property is, is, is really no issues at all. Um, so that's also something you have to consider when you're looking at building. And uh, I have so many stories of friends who've uh, run into all sorts of issues and had to tear down a bathroom that was built because it was wrongly built. So, uh, you know, that's another reason to be very careful. So I think you're getting the point is based on my experience, uh, I would say in Sardinia, unless you're on site, you have building background, you yourself very hands-on, you're gonna really work with the different uh, you know, teams that are coming in, I think I would buy something built. That's based on the experience I had. Now at the time, I didn't have the cash. So I wanted to buy the land, wait a bit, build up some capital, and then build it in two or three phases. And then as you know, the story got delayed. So that was one of the challenges. I didn't have 500,000, I couldn't finance a house. So I said, what I have, I can buy land for 85, and I can put aside money over time. I can flip some other properties and then bring the cash in. So it depends on your situation. Like one possibility is say, you know, you grab a piece of land and you hold it for a while until you have the money. So it depends on your finances. So I hope that was helpful. At least that's from my experience in Sardinia and it's true experience that we've lived uh, so if it was useful but then just you know put a comment click the like button uh, if you like this type of content about investing in real estate we do investments all over the world in different parts well you know subscribe to the channel because there's more videos to come thank you for watching I'll see you in a future video